Practice three. Now read the passage about chant. You have forty-five seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a part of a lecture in an English literature class. Chant is one of the important elements in poetry that is used in general or religious poems. There are two methods to make a chant in poetry: one that's created by accidental incident, and one that is formed by a situation that was deliberately set up. Let me first talk about accidental creation of a chant. This is uncommon because a poet must think of words or sounds instantly when he or she accidentally remembers something from a certain action. This is rather hard to do. For example, a writer once looked out the window as he was taking a break from all the writing. Then he saw two people arguing outside in the parking lot, and then he remembered some poetical sentiment. As a result, he created a wonderful poem. However, this is difficult to do because you must be totally inspired by certain actions to write poems, and this doesn't happen often. So many poets prefer the second option: deliberate action to get some poetic ideas. There was one poet who wrote random words on different papers. He then threw those papers up in the air and let them fall on the floor. As he picked each paper up, he wrote a poem based on the words that appeared to him in order. So, if the words were purple, friendly, and trees, the writer wrote a poem about a purple, friendly tree. Explain chant and poetry as the professor explained in the lecture. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. In the lecture, the professor explains about chant and poetry, which is the rhythmic speaking or singing of words or sounds. There are two ways that chant is formed: accidentally and deliberately. The professor explains this with examples. First, accidental chant is uncommon because a poet has to accidentally remember words or sounds from a certain action. For example, a writer would create a poem from watching two people having an argument outside in a parking lot. Another type, deliberate chant, occurs when a poet sets up a certain situation in order to get some poetical sentiment. To illustrate this, a writer would write different words on different papers, and he or she would write a poem based on the words that he or she picks up in order. So, if he or she picks up words purple, friendly, and trees, the writer would write a poem about purple, friendly trees. Practice four. Now read the passage of ecosystems. You have forty-five seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture in a biology class. So today, let's talk about resilient ecosystems. The ecosystem, as you may all know, includes both living organisms and their physical surroundings, such as the air, water, and the soil. Sometimes the ecosystem is harmed by its surroundings or human activity, of course. But the amazing thing is that nature itself restores the ecosystem. This is called a resilient system. Let me give you an example. When oil tankers spill oil on the fragile coastal ecosystem, the oil is spilled on coral reefs and kills many fish. Living organisms like fish are killed, but more than that, this harms the water by stimulating the growth of aquatic plants and algae. Scientists worry that excessive growth of algae blocks light to deeper water. And this brings more death to the ecosystem. Attempts to clean up the spill involve human effort, but more surprisingly, organisms restore nature themselves. This is how it works: algae increase when fish die, then the living fish take over the dead fish and eat the algae. This way, the algae are removed from the water, and also this is how the ecosystem recovers from the spill. Using points and examples from the lecture. Explain how the ecosystem is restored in the resilient system. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. The lecture is about resilient systems. When there is oil spilled, it harms the ecosystem. First, most of the fish are killed, and this causes aquatic plants and algae to grow. The growth of algae covers the surface of the ocean water. And prevents the sunlight from penetrating into the water. 
This again harms the organisms that live deep in the ocean water. A resilient system means that nature itself could restore the ocean water without any human support. For example, the fish that are alive eat the algae that covered the ocean water, and this restores the natural state. Practice 5. Now read the passage about the use of media. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to a lecture. The professor talks about quoting out of context. In media, there are many different techniques to draw the attention of the audience. One of them is called quoting out of context, which is a method that withdraws a certain message from the context to distort the intended meaning. This technique is used not only in media, but also in all sorts of fields, even with the Quran. However, today, we will only focus on this concept in media, especially in movie advertisement. You've all seen a movie called The Star Works, right? This movie is inspired by the box office hit Star Wars. This movie, too, was a success just like the original. Everyone has said that the sound and visual effects were superb and that it was very entertaining to watch. However, there was one critic who has said that this movie was a failure. He has objected, saying that this movie had neither meaning nor superb techniques. He claimed that the only reason why this movie was a box office hit was because of the advertisement that featured the Hollywood A-list star. The advertisement agency had used this delightful actress to draw the attention of the audience and make it seem like it should be a must-see movie. He mentioned that without this actress, the movie would probably have been a complete disaster and could not have been on the box office hit list. So this advertisement company had succeeded with this ad because of the actress. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain how quoting out of context is used in movies. Please begin speaking after the beep. Sample answer. In the lecture, the professor explains about quoting out of context, which is a technique that twists and contradicts the original context to isolate some messages. This is used widely in media to convey certain messages to the audience. Some companies use visual and sound effects, costumes and even popular stars to portray good images. This method is rather a false attribution, and to illustrate this, the professor talks about a certain movie called The Star Works. She says that its reviews were just as good as the original version, but there was one critic who claimed that the movie had no meaning or good techniques. He said that the only reason why this movie was a huge success was because of the Hollywood A-list star that appeared in the movie. So, it is believed that this delightful actress played a part in drawing the audience's attention and was the only way the movie could become a blockbuster.